Okay, we're at the Consumer Electronics Show, Audio Technica booth, and they have a product that is a, a category defier. Or right? creator. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is what we call the stream set, which is a uh, purpose-built streaming headset. And uh, uh, what does that mean, you may ask? And what that means is um, we got a lot of feedback from our actual customers in the field. Uh, we have a lot of people utilizing our product for content creation, and typically what you'll see is a content creator with a microphone on their desk or on a boom arm, um, which works fine, but typically if you put a microphone on your desk, you're going to run the gain pretty hot so you can hear your voice. And if you do not have a perfect environment, you're going to start to see your noise and your ambience creep up. On the converse, if you have a microphone on a boom arm and you happen to be a overly enthusiastic streamer, um, you might have problems staying within the polar pattern of that microphone. So um, we know that, and we know a lot of people are using our 20 series for their creation, their content creation. What do you uh, mean by 20 series? So 20 series is a line of studio microphones that we originally came out for music production, and uh, it has been adapted by the content creators, uh, podcasters, YouTubers, Twitch streamers, as a great way of capturing audio. AT so 2020? That would be a perfect example. We have 2025? 2035, 2020, 2050, those are all within that line. So um, we did a lot of intercept research at a lot of these shows, TwitchCon and PAX, with these customers. And uh, we had an assumption that the reason um, these streamers didn't use headsets uh, was because they wouldn't look good in camera. But what we actually found is they just didn't like the sound of the existing uh, microphones on the headsets they were using, which was typically gaming audio headsets. So um, we decided to um, take that back to uh, Audio Technica and create this, which is an ATH M50X closed back studio headphone paired with a 20 series uh, technology condenser uh, capsule for the boom arm. So now what I have is I have a consistent distance from my voice, I have the clarity of a studio condenser microphone, and I have the functionality built in. One of the things we also know that when you're streaming, you not, might not be close to your keyboard or to a microphone that has a mute. Uh, so what we've done is we've also built in a mute, which I'm going to demo right here. Uh -huh. uh, this is a flip up mute, so I just grab this here. Uh huh. Yeah. Would you would you hold it? Start a note, like sing. Hold yeah. the hold the note and then move it down. Uh, so it's a silent mute. It doesn't pop or click. Uh, and if you have a coughing fit or if the dog runs in the room, that's a real convenient way to mute the microphone without having to go to software to mute the microphone. So this is uh, what we're calling the stream set. The stream set. Um, does it? Uh, does it matter which side, uh, it, is it specifically? It's a, it's, a, it's a left side because so we can get that, um, the uh, design for the mute switch and whatnot. Uh -huh. um, so it's coming out of the left side. Another interesting thing we do is we include two sets of ear pads. So right now I'm going to flip this around. You're going to notice this is a hybrid ear pad. So this has an inner mesh with an outer, uh, more non-porous material. This is going to be used for comfort, and this is what uh, ships with the product. And then we will ship the actual M50X headset uh, ear pads, uh, which are all the non-porous material, and that's going to give you the ultimate fidelity and isolation. So you get both in the box. For a suggested retail price of? Uh, right now, we have this in two varieties. We have analog, which has an XLR for the microphone output, and then a 3.5 with a screw on quarter inch for the headphone, that's at 199. And then at 229, we have a digital version uh, which includes USB A connectivity with a USB A to C adapter. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Bonus. And with also with the uh, digital version, uh, we do have a monitoring function which will actually take the audio from the microphone and feed it into the headphones. Um, so you have a monitor level adjustment. Now, in an analog environment, you're going to do that with your hardware. Uh, but the USB, you can do it right on the headset itself. Okay, great. Uh, from a technical perspective, 
Is it a dynamic mic that doesn't need power? No, this is a condenser microphone, so it'll operate off of 11 to 52 volts. Typically, anything that has what they call phantom power will power this unit, uh, no problem. Okay, and uh, the tip on the analog version is uh, XLR? Yeah, yeah, the, it's a three pin balanced XLR output. Um, will you do uh, an adapter, or is there an adapter that will adapt from XLR to, uh, let's say, uh, eighth inch? Um, the only issue with that is getting uh, the phantom power to the microphone. So that typically would have to happen between the XLR. So you could get a phantom power, external phantom power uh, adapter, right. and go XLR into that, and then out to your three, uh, three point five, if necessary. Now. Uh, Audio-Technica used to make um, a phantom power barrel. Yeah, we don't, we don't do that anymore, and typically okay. in the instances that would need a 3.5 is typically a mobile, so you would want something that was probably uh, battery powered in that instance, which there are those available. Right. Um, what if uh, someone wanted to plug it into, not the USB, but they wanted to plug it into their computer with the TRRS jack or the mic and, and headphones split TRS uh, separate jacks. You could do that, there's a little challenges. The more convenient way to get the analog version into a computer would be to use an interface such as a Focusrite or a UA, or there's a bunch of them on the market. And those are pretty common within the content creation market. The higher end users which uh, need to use multiple microphones will go the interface route. If you only need to use one microphone, because um, you can only have one uh, USB audio device, they'll go uh, USB. Well, there you have it. Yeah. From the CES show, it, it's only uh, a, a few days an uh, announced. Yeah, it's, only just a few our, days it's, old. it's our baby. It's, it's our <laughs> brand new baby. And um, we'll be shipping this probably within the next three to four uh, weeks. We've announced it here at the show. Uh -huh. um, they have been produced. We're just uh, waiting to ship them out to our retailers. By the end, of, so essentially, by the end of January, beginning of February? Yeah, keep an eye on the website. On which website? Audio-technica.com. Audio-technica. That's correct. Gary Boss, thanks very much. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks Congratulations. For it, it sounds terrific. Great.